The Ba Ta and Kabidi Interlink Bridge, soon to be Southeast Asia's longest bridge The Ba Ta and Kabidi Interlink Bridge, also known as the Manila Bay Bridge, is a proposed bridge which plans to connect the provinces of Bataan and Kabidi. Then Representative Felicito Payumo, first proposed the construction of a bridge crossing Manila Bay in 1987, which he named as the Trans Manila Bay Crossing. As chairman of the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority or SBMA, Payumo attempted to realize the Trans Manila Bay Crossing as a bridge tunnel system in the early 2000s. At least two Japanese firms, Itochu Corporation and NKK presented feasibility studies for the bridge tunnel link to the SBMA but such plans were never realized. In 2016, Payumo revived the proposal again, pitching the bridge as means to decongest traffic in Metro Manila and boost the economy. Comparing the proposed bridge to the Tokyo Bay Aqua Line, Payumo has noted that commuters in Cavite and other parts of southern Luzon do not need to pass through Metro Manila to reach central Luzon if such bridge would be built. China State Construction Engineering Corporation or CSCEC, began its on-site study as preparation for the possible construction of the bridge in late 2017. Its team first visited the coastal towns in Bataan. The National Economic and Development Authority or NEDA approved the bridge project in early 2020 with a budget of 175.7 billion pesos. The implementation of the bridge project is projected to last six years. On October 2020, the Department of Public Works and Highways, signed a $59 million engineering design contract, awarded to the joint venture of T.Y. Lin International from the U.S., and Korea's Pyeongwa Engineering Consultants Limited, who are working in tandem with Geneva-based Renard at S.A., and local firm DCCD Engineering Corporation. The Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge will be 32.15 kilometers, 19.98 miles long and will cross over the Manila Bay. The four-lane bridge will connect the towns of Mariblas, Bataan and Naik Cavite. The bridge will consist of two main navigation bridges. The starting point will be located in Barangay Alas Asin near the Mariblas Freeport area, then two cable-stayed bridges called the North Channel Bridge main span of 400 meters, and South Channel Bridge main span of 900 meters, will be constructed, before terminating in Barangay Taimalan Balsahan Naik Cavite, with the marine bridges standing in water as deep as 50 meters. The detailed design engineering phase of the project is expected to last 15 months. The bridge will need to be high enough to allow large ships to pass under it since Manila Bay is a major shipping route accommodated by the Port of Manila. The Department of Public Works and Highways or DPWH, said it is looking to come up with a detailed design of the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge project within the year. The soon-to-be-largest and longest iconic bridge will be the faster way by land between Cavite and Bataan, which will cut travel time between central Luzon and southern Tagalog, from the usual 5 hours to only 20 to 30 minutes at a speed of 60 km per hour. A joint venture of the U.S.-based T.Y. Lin International and the Republic of Korea's Pyeongwa Engineering Consultants, along with the Philippines' DCCD Engineering Corporation and Switzerland-based Renardit received the contract for the project. DPWH signed a $59 million deal with the contractors for the Detailed Engineering Design or DED of the bridge project in October 2020. Obey Arup and Partners Hong Kong has been appointed as consultant for DPWH for this project. Arup officially commissioned the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific or MAAP for the design, development, and execution of the required simulation exercises, to understand the maneuverability of simulated vessels along the proposed navigation channel beneath the bridge.